Why, hello, algebra students, and welcome to your Angry Birds project video. Uh, this project is really meant to help us review quadratic equations and all those characteristics and things that we've been working on throughout all of chapter 12. So it'll be helpful to have those notes as you work on this project. Now, what I will let you know is that Tuesday and Wednesday within this algebra class, you will not have any other math work to complete. The time is dedicated to working on this Angry Birds project. After that, you'll have to finish up anything on your own time, as we will be you know, having other review activities built in as well. It will count for a target practice grade. Uh, and this is due Friday, May 7th at 3 p.m. So it's not due till Friday, but you'll only be given Tuesday and Wednesday as work days in the virtual environment. OK, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, Red Bird, whose name is Red. Yellow Bird, whose name is Chuck. Blue Bird, who I believe breaks into three birds, Jim, Jay and Jack. And then the Black Bird, which is also named as Bomber. Um, what in the heck? Here we go. Why am I getting logged out? That shouldn't happen. Um, they're angry with the pigs, right? If you've never seen the video, they're angry with the pigs because basically the pigs stole their eggs and they want them back, right? And uh, the flight, have you ever played the game of Angry Birds? The flight of the bird actually represents a quadratic equation, um, that parabola, if you will. Okay, when we get to the graphing part, you're going to let Y be the height of the bird in the air and X be the total distance that they've traveled from the slingshot. We're only going to be working in yards and that's it. Okay, only in yards. Now, the, the, the two pigs are going to be located at these two points. Uh, the king pig will be located at the point 21 comma 19 and a half and the mustache pig will be located at 9 comma 21 and our goal is to try and create equations that will help us launch the birds to get them there based upon some of the information we're giving now not all of the birds will make it and that's where you have to do some of the math now I'm going to link this entire presentation inside of classroom as part of the assignment and you can you can kind of watch a sample here from Angry Birds as what is happening um, but remember that the king pig is located at 21 comma 19 and a half and the mustache pig is located at 921 those are some key points now what is your goal you're going to find a quadratic equation that represents the path of each of the angry birds using information that we provide to you the ultimate goal is to see which angry bird will will get to that pig knock it down and get the egg back you may need to try over and over and over and over and over again because your first attempt may not get it um, but remember everything that you've learned about quadratics, the key forms, the key points, the symmetry, the range, all of that different stuff. And remember, everything will always be in yards on a clean piece of paper. Right? And I'm also going to I'm going to include this as part of the assignment. And maybe this is something you want to print or even type on or put some pictures on. You want to record all of your work right on that piece of paper. Take a picture of the work, paste it in there. Uh, use that. Once you get your equations, you're going to need to graph it on Desmos and take a screenshot of the graph on Desmos and paste it into that document, uh, you know, to kind of show where the two pigs maybe, you know, have hit, uh, have been knocked down, right? And this is what we're really trying to answer. So this slide is really, really important, right? On that paper, can you tell me, does the graph open up or down? What's the vertex? What's the y-intercept? What's the factored form? Uh, what are the x-intercepts, the axis of symmetry, the vertex form, the standard form, right? You got to work back and forth. What was the maximum height of the bird? How far did the bird go? And did the bird hit a pig or not? Okay, and if yes, which one? All right, and here's a link to how I'm going to be scoring that, right? Four points for each bird where these are the different points. All calculations, the graph, the different questions were answered, and did you, you know, put it in something neat and organized so that I can read it, okay? And then within the rest of this document is the information for each bird. So here's the red bird. Starts his flight at a certain point. His path reaches a maximum height of 18, lands at point 38.0, and so on. So each of these birds are going to have a very specific um, information that you will need to utilize 
to complete these questions, okay? And figuring out which ones knock down the actual pigs. Recording your information, and again, each one of these pages has something for each one of those different birds, okay? The goal is to have fun um, trying to figure out how you can knock down those pigs, but also use some of this as review material for the upcoming mini test next week. If you do have any questions, please make sure that you reach out. Otherwise, all of this will be linked in the next post for your assignment. Good luck and have fun. Until next time, stay safe.